You are welcome to this series of meetings called Deep Deliverance. Amen. And this is the fourth session. I will get to go on every Wednesday. Until the joy of somebody here will be very full. If you are that person, let me hear you shout it loud and let me hear. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above the heavens. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above the heavens. Hallelujah, let the glory be above all the earth. Hallelujah, let the glory be above all Sing it again loud and clear. Be now and not said, O Lord, above the Hallelujah. Be now and not said, O Lord, above the Hallelujah. Let the glory be above all the Hallelujah. Let the Glory be Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. It is well with me. It is well with me. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How I love calling your name every day, every day. Your name is such a I love calling your name every day. Jesus, 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 how I love you. Shout it loud and clear. Jesus, Jesus, every day. How I love calling your name. How I love calling your name. Every day, every day. Make the possibility possible. Make the possibility. She over Jaira. She over this thing. She over she over Lohi, she over Rapa, she over Nisi. Hallelujah, he made it possible. Hallelujah, he made it possible. Go on, go on, go on. I've been to Calvary. I've been my hands in the blood of the Lama. I drink the blood of Jesus. My life has been I've been to Calvary. I've been to Calvary. I've been Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My life has been made over. 
God, God, my life has been made whole. My life has been made whole. Molasi Calvary, Molasi Calvary, Molasi Calvary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hear me that you say. 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 For lost the cavalry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, where I am, Kim Gapo, who can my wetter? Oh, where I am, Kim Gapo, who can my wetter? Ah, who never ma? Ah, who Nagoria? Ah, who never go there? Who go higher? Who could get? Who go higher? Who go higher? Poor I am. Poor I am. I've been to Calvary. I've been in the blood of the Lamb. I've been the blood of Jesus. My life has been made. I've been to Calvary. I've been to Calvary. A bit of cavalry. Two songs I want you to sing now. You can pick the one you like for yourself and sing it from your heart. Because of the nature of the program we're having now. One song is this. There is power, there is power, there is power, the blood of Jesus, there is power, there is power, there is power, the blood of Jesus. Then, won't tell you, Allah, Allah, won't tell you, Jesus, me, Oba, me, mo, ba, me, lo, mo, o, mo, she, te, je, re, Amen. Now you can pick another two. There is power. There is power. There is power in the blood of. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. 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 Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Rotate your leg, I love her. Rotate your leg, just to me. Oh, my me, 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 Oh yes, sir. 
Oh yes, that, 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 that. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power. Open your eyes and look at me here very well. There is a prayer I want you to pray now. The last time this prayer point was called was somewhere in America. There was a lady there, very, very intelligent. She was with first class brain. But all of a sudden, one night as she slept, she had a dream that there was somebody sleeping behind her. With the hand laid upon her head. And beginning from that day, an A class student dropped down to F. F. A person who teaches others in class now became somebody that others have to be teaching. That was what brought her to the crusade. Although she doesn't like the mountain of fire, but she came there. Because she says the woman in MFM dress one kind. But that day she forgot about people dressing one kind. And she came. And we call this prayer. Listen to me well. That's why if you are afraid, this is not the meeting to come. So I say, open your eyes and look at me very well. We call the prayers. She started praying. She started praying. She started praying. All of a sudden, a bird flew against her. Everybody was gathered. A string bird flew against her. She grabbed the bird and began to strangulate the bird. The bird dropped dead. And we finished prayer meeting. Ten minutes later, there was a call from our village. The grandmother was dead. With fingernails on her neck. And she was crying, they are strangulating me, they are strangulating me. And she dropped dead. And immediately, the girl moved back from F to A. They were praying, the prayer was prayed in the US, in the United States of America. The implication manifested here. So anybody is not ready for anything strange to happen. You should not pray this prayer. Can you close your eyes now? Shout this loud and clear. Powers! On assignment! To frustrate my destiny. Can I hear the sister saying that? Brothers, can I hear you shouting it loud? Receive the blow of death. Can I hear you shouting that loud? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray now. Something is already happening here. Aha! Bapota Satala Kaya Boshanda Labosanta. Rio Poli Katanga. The Katende Kaya Boshente Labosente. The Kapala Bosatende Yaboshente. Aha! Continue, continue! Something must happen tonight! Receive the blood dead in the name of Jesus! Then we pray. Silence. I told you what will happen. As many people are in this meeting tonight, and there's a particular strange power laying claim to your life, 
saying she is mine or is mine. Mapota ni karibu sacha. Na ribo sepela kaya moko shenta. Bapona katenda. Unto such people here tonight. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Silence. Yes. Silence. Silence. You, that person over there, that the queen of the coast is saying you belong to her. Mommy water spirits are saying you belong to them. That stubborn spirit husband and spirit wife is saying you belong to them. The power of the shrine of your father's house claiming that you belong to them. Mapotalikaria. Right there where you are. As I count seven from here. The power of God will strike where you are. And they will separate from your life. One. Two. Three. Four. Something is happening over there. Five. Six. Seven. Yes, they must let you go. You belong to Jesus. They cannot lay claim upon you anymore. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Open your eyes and look at me again. There was a meeting and there was a word of knowledge and there is a lady here all the wrong, wrong men are always coming to you. Either those who are already polygamous, those who are of bad behavior, and those who are completely children of the devil. And the reason these people are coming to worship, there is a spirit in you that is attracting them. That person was asked to come forward, and hands were laid on her. And right there, Cripple man, cripple walked out of her life. You may not realize it. A lot of people carry baggages they do not know. And they are completely unaware. But your ignorance is not an excuse. This is why you must pray this prayer with wicked violence. Unconscious strong man. Troubling my life. By fire in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree that one. This is not a day to negotiate. Step out, step out, step out in the name of Jesus, step out in the name of Jesus. Continue, continue. It's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Step out. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh yes, that's good. That's Mr. Continue. You are making progress. 
That's right. That's how to pray. Continue. You are making progress. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Silence now. As I issue this word of command. Father, it is written that the strangers shall be afraid and they shall flee out of their close places. As many people are in this deep deliverance service. And there is an hidden, unconscious, cryptic enemy controlling affairs, pushing away good things, attracting bad things. Father, as I count seven from here, let such strong men step out of any life where they are present. Bakapota Santalaka, Rima Sependa Kayabo Shente, in the name of Jesus. One, two, they are coming out. Three, four, five, six, seven. They must step out. Thank you, Jesus. Silence. What is the title of this meeting? If you are in this meeting and you have been harassed by constant sex in the dream, stretch your right hand towards this altar as I pray now. Father, these hands are stretched towards this altar. Let them carry the deliverance fire of God. In the name of Jesus. Let this hand become the sword of the spirit <laughs> to shake down every citadel of darkness in the name of Jesus. Get yourself ready. You have to smite your stomach close to your belly button seven times, and the strong man attracting this thing to you shall step out. Are you ready? One. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, a strange but powerful prayer to pray before you sit down. Even if you feel it's not relevant to your case, pray it well. Pray it very, very well. A lot of people are laboring under parental curses. Whether for play or for real, it has an effect. Now with a voice that is loud as fire. Say, Thou power of parental curses. Pray in the name of Jesus. 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 Jesus, 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 Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Jesus. Continue, continue, continue. Continue, 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 continue. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Father, we thank you for a time like this before your feet. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. We thank you for what you have done already. And we thank you for what you shall do before we leave this place tonight. We thank you for what you are doing right now. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, lay your hands upon us. Father, anoint our spirits. Father, cause great deliverance to happen in our lives. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In louder, Amen. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Today signals the beginning of another series of meetings. And we're going to be running it every Wednesday until the Lord gives us another direction. We're looking at the principles of deep deliverance. The principles of deep deliverance. And I don't know for how long this series will last. I've just gone as led by the Spirit. The principles of deep deliverance. In the book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 18, we see one of the most wonderful proclamations in Scripture. Very powerful Scripture. And I want you to carefully observe this Scripture. Carefully observe this Scripture. I see one man in this meeting now. Enemy blew a wind of paralysis against you. As I'm speaking now, you are feeling the heat in your limbs. And the arrow of paralysis has come back to the center. Luke chapter 4, verse 18. Jesus read from the book of Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. So the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me, number one, to preach the gospel to the poor. The poor physically, the poor spiritually. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. Number two, he has sent me to heal the broken hearted. A lot of heart has been broken by disloyalty, by betrayal, by all kinds of forces. I am praying for somebody here today that those powers that broke your heart in order to make you cry, they shall celebrate with you in the name of Jesus. Three, he has sent me to preach deliverance to the captives. There is a group of people called captives and there is something called captivity. But thank God, he has sent me to preach deliverance to the captives. Four, and recovery of sight to the blind. Blind physically, blind spiritually. To set at liberty them that are bruised. Some people have been bruised by the enemy. And lastly, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. This is the manifesto of the Lord Jesus Christ. There are seven major areas of deliverance. Seven major areas of deliverance. There is the deliverance of salvation. Because salvation from sin is a deliverance. There is the deliverance of salvation. Two, there is deliverance of healing. Somebody who was not feeling well is now feeling well. Three, there is deliverance of freedom. Complete freedom. Freedom from anxiety, from bondages, from addictions, from evil controllers. Freedom. It's a tragedy when an able-bodied man is being controlled by a bottle of beer. A lifeless object like a bottle of beer is now pushing a man across the streets, pushing it into the gutter. Freedom. Four. There is deliverance of breakthroughs. 
Because to have a breakthrough in what you are doing, in your career, in your business, in your destiny, is a deliverance. I prophesy upon the breakthrough of somebody here. Your breakthrough shall receive deliverance. In the name of Jesus, you shall receive deliverance. You shall receive deliverance. Makapot Hassan Tayaba, you shall receive deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Was because a person's breakthrough can be caged. It needs to be delivered. Get that correctly. You can go to heaven. Abraham's style or Lazarus style. You will still make it. Lazarus went to heaven a poor, ragged, sinking man. When he went to the bosom of Abraham, Abraham was a rich man who was sitting there in heaven. If a breakthrough of a man does not receive deliverance, he will make heaven, but he will die a poor man, a poor woman. I decree that the powers caging anyone's breakthrough here shall receive the blow of death. In the name of Jesus. Night are ever roar like thunder. Five. There is deliverance of prosperity. The devil does not want people to prosper. Six. There is a deliverance of destiny. A person's destiny can be caged. Completely caged. And the person becomes rubbish. Remember the story of that girl that I told you some years ago? Who was in a school of medicine. And she had a dream. That a black goat crossed at her front. And as the black goat got to her place, the black goat used its leg to stare up sand into her eyes. And from that day, anything they were saying in the medical school, she did not understand it. By the time they brought her for deliverance, she was already she, she was learning sewing. Sewing. From the school of medicine, to learning sewing. A black goat put sand in her face. Black goat in the spirit realm is tough witchcraft. Mad people in the spirit realm, it means the most kind of wicked enemy they can arrange against you. Because physically, anything a madman does to you is free. If they take the person to court and they say, My lord, he's crazy, he's mad. He's a madman. The court will set him free. Say it's not well. So, when a mad person is attacking you in the dream, it's the greatest height of wickedness. Anyone here this evening, and a madman has ever approached your dream, let that power, represented by the madman in your dream, receive the blow of death now. A struggle for the man! By the time the destiny of this lady was delivered, she now went to Chicago. That's why she now finished the medicine, they demoted her to sewing. But she now finished it. May the powers, caging anybody's star, be disgraced today. <laughs> Amen. Seven. There is marital deliverance. Marital deliverance. If your marriage is not delivered, you may not even be able to marry anybody. And if you do marry, there is a problem. Because that marriage has been caged. Those are the seven major areas of deliverance. Seven major areas. But then, there are some other small areas that I need to point out to you too. Those seven are the major ones that trouble man. That you can call that one first team and uh, the second team. What are the seven members of the second team? One, there is deliverance from death and hell. Death and hell. Physical death, spiritual death, and hell. Two, there is deliverance from dangers. All kinds of dangers happening around. The Lord delivers his people from all kinds of dangers that are going around. 
Like the testimony a woman was giving her some time ago. An arm robbers came to her house. Say, Madam, bring jewelries. Say, I don't have, they don't use it in our church. Madam, bring money. Say, I have only four naira. Say, as beautiful as you are. Say, yes, that's all I have. Say, bring it. She gave them the whole of her handbag. While one arm robber grabbed the handbag, took out a Bible, and now saw MFM logo at the back of the Bible. I said, Madam, you go to this church? Say yes. She called the other robber. Say, hey, wait, 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 come, 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 come. Return the 200 naira. Give her everything. Everything. And I said, Madam, say this after us. We did not take anything from your house. Say it after us. You did not take anything from my house. Don't pray against us. And they went and started robbing others. That's a deliverance. A deliverance from dangers. That's what the Bible says. There is destruction that walketh at noonday. There is pestilence that walketh about in darkness. Those are the destroyers. I am praying for somebody here. That any power arranging danger for you shall fall into their own pit. In the name of Jesus. There is deliverance from enemies, whether domestic or external. Deliverance from enemies. And don't deceive yourself by saying you don't have enemies. Whether you like it or not, you have. Four. Deliverance from curses and its partners. Curses and its partners. Partners like spare, hypnotism, exes, both. Those are all under curses. Any curse under which anybody here is laboring shall vanish like the money due. In the name of Jesus. Five. As evil covenants, which has done a lot of havoc to the black man. Six, evil environment, which also has done a lot of damage. And lastly, evil foundation, which has swallowed so many people. So, seven major areas of deliverance, team one. Seven major areas of deliverance, team number two. These are all the areas covered. But then, deliverance itself. That the Bible says, but upon Mount Zion shall be delivered and holiness. Then the children of Jacob shall possess their possession. Meaning that without that deliverance, the children of Jacob will never possess their possession. Under that deliverance, we have nine categories. Nine categories of deliverance. One is vain deliverance. Vain deliverance. Bring purple. Bring orange. Bring banana. And share it and let them eat it. Vain deliverance. Two. That is partial deliverance. Just partially delivered. Three. That is temporary deliverance. It's just temporary. The enemy just say, okay, let's just give this person a short holiday. And then they'll come rushing back with aggression. Four. That is surface deliverance. Just surface. Five. That is fake deliverance. Six. There is emotional deliverance. That is, you think you are delivered. You think so. Although you are not. Seven. There is epileptic deliverance. Today you feel okay. Tomorrow you don't feel okay again. Eight. There is complete deliverance. Where there is a night group called deep deliverance. 
deep deliverance. I will now focus on explaining this to you a little bit before we begin to pray now. In Daniel chapter 2, verse 22. Daniel 2, 22. The Bible says, He revealed the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness, and the light dwelleth in him. He revealed the deep and secret things. There are some things in life that are deep, deep. It's not something you can just understand on the surface. Very deep. And unless you are deep, or you can pray deep prayers, you will not understand it. The mystery will not be clear. It is not everything you see on the surface of the earth that is just like that. Deep. Deep, deep things. Very, very deep. One brother and one sister, they were cutting many years ago. And they used to pray together. One day, as they were praying, God opened the eyes of the sister. Although she was hearing, Amen. 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 By her side. But God opened her eyes. He saw the man she was praying with. Going down, 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 down to the bottom of a river. He went down to the bottom of that river. And gave a kiss to one woman under there. Then he came out again. The Amen was still going on. When they opened their eyes, the sister turned to him and said, Brother, where did you go? He said, What do you mean by where did I go? I saw you. Where did you go? Ah. He said, You are a strong person. I don't want to marry a strong wife like this. And that was the end of the relationship. Is it not deep that somebody is saying, Amen, Amen, Amen by yourself, and the person is not there again? It's gone. <laughs> Not in that environment anymore. There are certain things in life that are deep. There are certain things in life that your brain of chemistry, biology cannot solve. There are some things in this life that being a professor cannot resolve it. It's deep. Very deep. Here am I standing before you. I have studied chemistry. Organic chemistry. Physical chemistry, biochemistry, analytical chemistry, microbiology, molecular genetics, molecular parasitology. Physiology. If I begin to mention the name of parasites now, it may not make sense to you. If I say Socoptis, Socoptis, Socoptis Keba, Necato Americanos, who makes sense, who, who make sense to you? <laughs> I've studied all that. But if I stand there on this pulpit and I say, in the name of microbiology, <laughs> let the devil begin to flee, I will just be wasting my time. Nothing. Those things that men brain are so high and they're looking up like this. The Bible says vanity upon vanity. All this is vanity. It's zero upon zero. Raised to the power of zero. There are things that are deep in this world. And you must understand that. There are things that have been in some people's life immediately they were conceived. So as they are growing, the thing is being set in concrete. 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 The enemy knows who. He's putting it there from the foundation. Concrete. Concrete. The person is now 45 years old. The person is now 50 years old. The thing has started since. The enemy has put concrete. And now, you want to pray against that one. Say, you're the powers of the enemy. You can't stay there. You must go. Right now. Right now. <laughs> Wasting time. Wasting time. There are things in people's life that were put there and they were told to sleep. Sleep. Wake up on the wedding day and the demon sleeps off. Then on the wedding day, it wakes up. 
and problem starts. Like I shared with you here some time ago, that in the church I was going many years ago, when I, when I think back, I start crying. Because if I knew one quarter of what I knew now, it won't happen. But we did not know anything. We didn't know anything. We just sang songs and danced. And that's what we were doing. And the enemy was busy working. We sang, sang, sang. We sang useless songs. Sang songs that has no fire. And I balayi wumeo mo faramo. And I balayi wumeo mo faramo. And I balayi ni mani ma fi lowo lowo. And I balayi ni mani ma fi di mole mo. O te mi lono ki njo olonu mi mukulu muke ajo odi mukulu odi mukan kan aso ti wa daso it was a wedding ceremony the bride bride they were already outside the church all of a sudden the bride put her hands in her wedding clothes and tore it and ran mad on the spot. We did not know what to do. Didn't know what to do. If it's now, no. <laughs> the strong man that wants to make you mad here today must be buried alive. Bring her back inside. We we'll pray and set her free. But we did not know. But that kind of lady, the thing did not start on the wedding day. They planted the thing there. Say, so, Demon, are you ready? Tomorrow is the day. day. Demon, seriously, are you receiving the message? Are you receiving the message over? Tomorrow is wedding day over. So I receive your message. I receive your message. I shall wake up tomorrow. And he wakes up. And trouble starts. I'm praying for somebody here. Every wicked power that is assigned to wake up to trouble your life shall receive the blow of death. In the name of Jesus. Light of heaven, you are a thunder. May the Lord damage our ignorance. The point I'm making is that certain things about life, they are deep. It's not everything that is in the surface. In fact, most of the valuable things on earth, they cannot be found on the surface. They are deep down. Deep. Crude oil. Deep. Gold. Deep. Diamond. They are all deep, deep, deep. Deep. When you want a building to be strong, you build a deep foundation. Job chapter 12, verse 22. Job 12, 22 says this. It discovereth deep things out of darkness and bringeth out to light the shadow of death. It discovereth deep things out of where? darkness. Now listen. I'm about to round up this message so we can start praying. Whenever a believer comes across a problem, your mind should go to a tree. A tree. A man has a headache now. Look at it like a tree. Something is not going the way you like. Look at it as a tree. A tree has roots. A tree has stem. A tree has branches. A tree has leaves. A tree sometimes has fruit. When you battle the stem, when you battle the branches, when you battle the leaves, when you battle the fruit, and you ignore the root, you obtain partial deliverance or Softest deliverance. When you walk on the root, then you obtain deep deliverance. So deep deliverance, then, beloved, is the principle of walking at the root of the problem instead of at the surface of it. The problem with most of our problems is that we either do not know the root of it, 
or we are unable to dig to the root of the matter. When I was still a young pastor, I made a strategic mistake that I regret. Since that day, you can't see me making that mistake again. This single lady came to our house for prayer. She was 43. She said she didn't find a husband. So we prayed. In those days when we were younger, when you see vision, you just start talking, talking, talking like parrots. <laughs> so immediately I started praying for her. I saw somebody standing beside her. They put a label on her head. They wrote, Mother. And she had wedding gown folded in her arms like this. Ah. I said, in Jesus' name we pray. I said, Amen. I said, Ah. Hmm. Uh, the person in charge of this, you are not getting married. It's your mother. But with the prayer, I pray for you now. If she doesn't let you go, within seven days, she will die. I forgot about it. Barely two hours. I was hearing noise at the front of our door. I said, I said, I didn't even know it was our door. Because I know that I was not mad. But when back, 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 our door, I opened the door. And behold, the sister that I prayed for just now came in and the woman followed her. I said, where is he? And the, the lady said, this is the pastor man. I said, pastor, were you the one that called me a witch? You told my daughter that I was the one that was the something that from getting married? Ah. I said, uh, yes, but I'm sorry. I said, okay, uh, Cecilia, that's the name of the daughter. I said, go ahead, I want to talk to the pastor. God, let me talk to him. So our daughter went out. I said, I said pastor, hey, is it true that the person will die in seven days? She does not let go. I said, yes, as the Lord lives, as the spirit lives, the person will not last for more than seven days. I said, okay. Hey, but if she goes, who will be looking after me? Because she's the only one looking after me. All the other children are overseas. They're not looking after me. That's why I tied her down. I said, Mommy, I will talk to her. She'll be looking after you. That's okay. I will let her go. That was how that lady was able to get married at 43. It's a deep world. And sometimes what you see is not what you battle. That's the spiritual world. So if you don't know the root of what you are fighting, or you are unable to dig deep into the root of it, you will struggle and sweat, and sometimes it will appear as if you are not even praying at all. So some will say, hey, some people are giving testimony that my runaway husband is coming back, but me, I cannot even find a husband. I say, why me? Oh God, why me? Why me? God, do you really like me? Your word say no evil shall befall me. Say no weapon come against me shall prosper. So I shall decree it, and I shall be established. For these things, I can't see them happening. Then you need to dig deep to find out what the problem is. And to attack it directly from that root. Rise up your feet, beloved. We shall continue this message next Wednesday. This is where we're going to stop tonight. The kind of prayers we're going to pray now, they are not gentle prayers. They are not kind prayers. They are not the kind of prayers that you will pray and the enemy will be happy. They are prayers to pray when they are pushing you to a particular level and you want divine intervention. As we pray this prayer, the power of God will begin to move from person to person. Yokes shall be dashed to pieces. And things that people thought were never possible, all of a sudden will become possible for you. All eyes closed. But if you are here tonight, and you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus, do so very quickly now. Jesus is waiting for you. Do so by raising up your right hand where you are, and say what I am going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, if you are afraid, don't pray. But if you know that you want solution, 
You are tired of the enemy just messing up with your destiny. Then frame this proclamation and conclusive prayers. Can you shout this with only anger? Powers! At the root of my problem! You are a liar! Yeah! In the name of Jesus! Jesus! Aha! Be with you from the root! Jesus! 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 Makatanda kaya bo shentera bo sopola ma, da katende kaya bo shentera bo sopola ma kaya ma, ba pola bo kapanda, da riba soponda kaya bo shentera ma, mana katanda ra bo soponda kaya bo shente, be katende kaya ma, aha, in Jesus name we pray. Silence. Arrows fired into the eyes and the chest. They are coming out. Arrows fired into the stomach and the womb. They are coming out. The power of paralysis is broken to pieces. A surgery is taking place in the ear, in the breast, in the backbone of somebody. The power of hernia, the problem with the blood, is broken to pieces. Those who are here and the trouble you are going through, is as a result of dream injection. The effect of that injection is nullified now. Every issue of blood, I command it to cease now in the name of Jesus. It's time again to smite the enemy and for the enemy to flee. Stretch your right hand towards me at the other time. Makapota likari bosanda. Father, let your anointing fall upon these hands now. Let these hands carry the fire of God. Let it carry the power of healing. Let it carry the power of deliverance. Let it carry the power of God. In the name of Jesus. Get yourself ready. If you have any infirmity in any part of your body, as to smite the enemy, the enemy shall flee. Don't worry about the pain, but it has to go. That sense to get yourself ready. One, smite any area where you are having infirmity. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get us up ready again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you, Jesus. Now begin to check your body. Check your body now. Any infirmity you brought here, check that body very, very well. Something mysterious is happening to you. Check that flow of blood. Check that leg. Check that hand. Immediately you find that you have been healed. Quickly run to the altar here. Don't allow the devil to put it back. Check your body very well before you come out. The power of God is moving mightily in the midst. Today is a day of deep deliverance. Can you shout this loud and clear? Alfred Witchcraft! You are a liar! Yeah! In the name of Jesus! Jesus! Smite the enemy and the enemy shall flee! Bakapota setara bokoyaba. Jesus. Aha, aha, aha. 
Look at all this happening here. That's the power of God. That's the power of God. That's the power of God. Somebody is breaking through over there. Somebody is breaking through. Somebody is breaking through. Makate sentera bakase tenda yaba. Aha! In Jesus' name we pray. Something is happening here. A strange miracle is happening to one sister over there. Try and check that womb. Check that swollen object in the womb. You find that it has vanished. Yes. Something is happening over there. So somebody who came here, and you could not breathe properly. Something is coming out of your chest. You are breathing properly now. The powers that fought my father. Powers that fought my mother. Can you shout that out and clear? And you are fighting me. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Bato kate kaya bo shendera bo sopona kaya bo shanta. Da katenda rabo sopola kayabo bostente yabo chente. Louder, 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 louder. Don't negotiate. This is not a day to negotiate. Receive your deliverance. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. Making fantastic progress. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Now, with a voice louder than that of anyone here, say, Battles from my dreams dry up. Can you shout that loud? Your voice is not loud enough. The voice is still not loud enough. The voice is still not loud enough. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, then we pray. Thank you, Jesus. One hand on the head, one hand on the belly button. And let your voice be loud and clear. Be loud and clear. Let nobody's voice overshadow your voice. Garment of darkness! From my father's heart, catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus, sanitize 
is my foundation. In the name of Jesus. Sanitize my foundation. In Jesus' name we pray. As some people will be going home tonight, they begin to experience their breakthroughs. Some people, when they get home, they will experience their own breakthroughs. Some people, in their dreams, and it will manifest physically, they will experience their breakthroughs. I decree by the decree of heaven that any cleverly concealed warfare, any deep rooted battle fighting anyone here, in the name which is above all names, let those problems vanish now. In the name of Jesus, where roads have been closed, as a result of your coming here tonight, the roads shall open to you for their own accord. Where shall open to you of their own accord. Where there has been no breakthrough. After this deep deliverance session, you shall experience the breakthrough power of God. Where they have been laughing at you, you will be laughing them to scorn. In the name of Jesus. Final prayer before you go home now. You will shout these two things with only anger. My breakthroughs, my prosperity, receive deliverance. Can I hear the sister shouting this? Let me hear the brothers shouting the same thing. Everybody shout it loud and clear. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray.